Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Season X interview. This time, we're joined by Solar Troll, the Oni Warriors solo laner. So this season, we'll be teaming up with Panatom in the jungle, Pagon in mid, Jake in support, Netrioid in ADC, and Oxil Oxiladion is the way it's always spat, but I always feel like I'm saying Oxy's name wrong. But Oxy will be the coach. Um, how you doing, Saw? So do you know how to say Oxy's name? Uh, I always said Oxilidon, okay. but I'm not sure if that's right. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll believe it sounds you. cool to me, so. Yeah, it does yeah, sound yeah, cool. Yeah. It's a cool one. He's, but, always, uh, he's always accepted it, so. Okay. So, yeah. We'll go with that. I think I'm just stick with Oxy. I feel like that's I if I shorten yeah, it, it's easy. like a it's like a pet name and I can't really get it wrong, you know. It's <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. Um yeah. but yeah. New team, new year, new team, uh brand new teammates, pretty much. Uh coming into this season. Do you want to talk a little bit about like how your roster came together, what the <laughs> off season was like for you? And uh yeah, just just sort of how this roster was built up. Uh yeah, so um Originally, like I'm sure most of you saw my tweet, I wanted to play mid. Um, mm -hmm. And the reasons for that is because um, I, I really think that like uh, I'm just like naturally uh, good at like hunters, mages, and assassins. And I feel like those are like the, you know, obviously what's played in mid. Um, mm -hmm. I think personally, I feel like I'm one of the best hunter players in general, but I'm like one of the worst dual lane players, if that makes sense. Like you put me in a dual lane, I'm probably going to die. Um, <laughs> uh, but if you put me on a hunter, I feel like I'll carry the game um and that's why like during 9.5 i think i was the best laner um of last year because uh like during that meta because hunters were really good and it was it was really funny <laughs> watching everyone try and play hunters and you know they just it, it wasn't really close um yep and yeah, i think I i'm like see variety I'm on a hunter ever again sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah now he's a beast on mulan he'll farm me on like mulan <laughs> and everything else but like you know hunters i i got that but um yeah and i think i'm just like a mechanically pretty good player and i um you know, I, I, I just think my potential in mid is like way higher than in like solo lane. Like I, I think I have not reached my peak in solo lane, but I think my peak in mid could be like best player like period. You know, like yeah, I'm in Paul level mm -hmm. if I put put in the work over the course of like a few years. Um, but in, in solo lane, you know, I don't think I'll be able to reach that like you know like like you know faker like of smite status level. So that's why I kind of want to go to mid. It's more of like a long term plan. Like I was okay with even playing SEC this year um, if I had to like or play plans. You know, like it's more of like a long term plan. Um, but um, the way this team formed was I was with Netroid from the start. Basically, we were kind of like, I think he's really good. I think, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Scarab's going to make worlds. And, you know, I, I think he's still a beast. Though. He played really well at the at the, uh, the qualifier tournament. Yep. And so, um, and he's really, he's like one of the best 1v1 and rotator ADCs in the game. So it's like, that's something I really need. And I think he's good at standing his ground. So that's why I'm like, it'd be cool to team with him if I'm mid. Um, cause he's, he's a good player, like standing his ground and we'll be able to play off each other pretty well. And he thought I would be pretty good in mid. Um, so it was kind of like us were like, you know, we're like, all right, let's try to make a team, you know, we'll see what happens. You know, we're not, it's not like locked in, but you know, we'll see what happens. Um, mm -hmm. and then, you know, the bolts had a change. And so, um, we're like, okay, Jake's free agent. And, um, you know, Jake's in my opinion, one of, you know, he's not like a top, top support like of last season, but like, like, I think his potential can be obviously number one, number two. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I think. On Renegades, we are a really good pair, and so I know how he works. So I'm like, okay, you know, Jake is a great choice. We should ask him to join. Um, and then we had a few jungle options. Um, I think we were considering like adapting Kana if adapting didn't get on a good team, or like you know, like Leviathans or something, you know, like, um, or c considering, uh, you know, like the part. The problem was we didn't have like a very like strong solo laner option. We didn't have like you know, <clears throat> like a, a like a solo laner that could like you know be, be a world champion or something, you know, like. Uh, Kana is a great player. He's up and coming, um, and he seems like he wants to learn and he wants to like, improve. And I think that, that that's good. And he, he had a pretty decent world strong as well, mm -hmm. but it's still unproven. And you know, it's not something like it's not like a final K or like you know, like a Hanix or you know, like any of like your strong soul laners. So it's like a bit kind of like uh, like a rough situation, like in, in that regard. Um, so it's like we have like pretty strong talent and like elsewhere, um, and we seem like a good jungle and solo. But then I think that's when Pagon actually. Um, became like a free agent he said he wanted to play and then i think the dragons kind of disbanded a bit so pagan was like left on the street and we're like oh my god daniel's a great player and we're also really good friends with him mm -hmm. and i did say in the beginning of the season I, I didn't like tweet or anything but like i said it to you know you know just like you know my close friends or like on stream or something i was like um if i get pagan or paul like i'd gladly go solo lane and like i'd be i'd be happy playing with a solo lane here mm -hmm. um uh because i think you know those two are great players and yeah, they're, they're my friends. They're really fun to team with, and so 
I was like, if I get Daniel or Paul, I'm down. And we got Daniel, and I'm like, Detroit was like, like I was still kind of thinking like, you know, you guys can have Pagan. Like I'll go to SEC. Like Pagan's a way better player than me currently. Like, it's totally fine. I get it. And they're like, uh, I think we got Pantom also because um, the license may change. Mm-hmm. And so we had we had Jake, Nitroid, Pantom, and then we can get Pagan. Me and they're like, Nitroid's telling me like, um, dude, like, please play solo lane. Um, we'll win. We'll we'll win worlds this year, and then next year I'll team with you and we can win worlds with you in mid. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm down. Um, and so I'm like, you know. And now that here we are, and I think I made a great decision because I'm happy with uh, the team, and I'm happy to play another solo lane here because I really wanted to get a ring before uh, before I quit solo lane. I've been playing it, you know, nine years now or whatever since 2014. So mm-hmm. it would suck to like not like not get a ring before I leave. It, I, I feel like a quitter, and it, it sucks. We got second place last year because if, if we got first place, I'd be like really happy to like go mid, even if I have to play SAC or be a random, you know, like it. Like start from the bottom because like I already won world in solo lane, but uh, I got to get the number one. Um, and yeah, I'm still very motivated in solo lane. It's not like I'm like, oh, I have to play solo lane. I don't, you know, I'm gonna take it easy this year. I'm, I'm gonna go balls to the wall a lot harder than last year. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still want to compete. I mean, it's in your name, right? Solo is in your name. It's in your nature, and you wanna you wanna get yep. that ring on it before before mm-hmm. moving it along. And and one thing that I like that you touched on there is like the 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 fact that you're friends with people on the team. I feel like that's been kind of a, a feature of the teams that are forming this year, but I feel like <coughs> maybe it's to me, but but to you, Peg on and, and Jake together makes a lot of sense. I've always thought you guys have got on. Have you have you known those guys for a long time? I didn't know that you and Netruid were were you know close enough to consider starting a team together. Yeah, yeah, I've known I've known uh, Jake and Pagan for a very long time. I've known Jake since like season two, like twenty sixteen, season three or so, mm-hmm. um, and Daniel around then as well. But uh, he was under a different name, uh, Dwyer. Um, and yeah, and with Metroid, um, <clears throat> I'm not like super close with him, uh, but um, I just thought he always was really good. I thought he was like one of the best like ADC players like in, like, in general uh, the last few years. Like I always thought he was like top two, you know. I think like one one phase or something, he like soloed every single ADC player, uh, like season eight or something. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that was very impressive, um, and he's just all around great player. And I think you know, um, after like the Scarabs year and all that, or after like his finish in the Scarabs, you know, like he's he's not gonna be like you know, uh, um, like uh, like crazy high value. So I'm like, this guy's like this guy like he should be valued because he's a, like a monster. He's like one of the best ADCs. Period. And so I like I really want to team with him, and I'm glad I. Got on a team with him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It seems like he's had a fire lit under him after after getting let go by the Kings, right? Extra motivation yep. in the tank, it yep. feels like. Um, speaking of motivation, I guess just off the back of, of SWC with fans, your I get must have been your was it your first event with fans? It must have been right. <laughs> uh, that was my second. I played uh, uh, with Aurora uh, on Splice um, season six. And we ah, first sure you did. Yeah. Well, the less said about that, the better. This year, you didn't get first rounded. Uh, you got picked by the Leviathans and ended up going all the uh-huh. way to the final. Um, I think it was a, a capstone on what was like a, a kind of tumultuous year for the Titans. There was a lot of a lot of moving around in that team, but overall, I mean, you, you won your your first event, is that right? In in phase one, and then you got to the final of Worlds. Like it must have felt like a pretty a pretty good year for you, right? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good overall. Um, I thought I I, I thought I, this is probably the best year I played. Um, it was probably the best year of my life in, in general. I mean, there were some That's rocky awesome. moments throughout the year, um, you know, with like personal stuff or like just like, you know, like the like team stuff. Like, um, but like overall, it was like looking back on it, it was probably the best year because, you know, I got, you know, the thing I've been working for for many years, you know, stupid Tesla. Um, <laughs> and I, you know, and I made a goal at the start of the year and that was to um, stay consistent with streaming because I'm not really consistent with anything in my life, uh, like not a single thing. So um, even down to like the gods I play, I'm not consistent with, you know. Uh, so I want to be consistent on one thing in my life, and that was streaming. And it, it, you know, it's been a a great year for that. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just good in all, like all overall. Like teaming with the Titans, it was pretty fun. They're all like really good players, and I had a lot of fun. Like we'd play a lot of board games and stuff. Uh, you know, Paul and I would go on like late night drives, and it was just like a lot of fun. Like every every day, it was just like you know, always fun to hang out with the team or go to dinner with you know Paul and the guys or whoever you know. Um, and we you know we won a lot and. Uh, you know, we got like fourth place a few times, but it's like, you know, it, we, we still were like, you know, like, I feel like we were doing pretty fine. Like, we're not like dominating, but we weren't like, you know, shitting it up. I feel like we were, we were doing okay. So 
Mm-hmm. And you know, we won. We won a tournament, got second place. You know, I think it was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, second in the world. Like, <clears throat> I, I don't know. I keep I keep going back to this, but I I I think it's really important to like to reiterate that people are you, you guys are playing to be the best in the world at something. You're trying to be the best in the world at something, and even if you come up a little bit short, you know, being second best in the world at something is still pretty sick yeah it's pretty cool and uh yeah consistency on streaming you definitely did that this year i've seen i don't know how many eight hour 10 hour 12 hour streams out of you you're on when i get up for work in the morning it's nice to check in and and see i love it so uh yeah yeah i think you've done a great job thank you um next up i guess uh let's let's talk a little bit more about the new team uh because one thing that that i sort of saw as soon as i saw this team and it's it's crazy because i think there's I don't know. Every, the, the league, a lot of people would say, and it feels like it's very like old heads, like there's a lot of experience in the league. But compared to other teams, I guess you guys are one of the younger, uh, less experienced teams. And uh, I feel like the majority of you have kind of teamed with big leaders up to now. So you've kind of had Aurora on, on Titans and, and Paul, I guess, and Pagons had PBM sort of marshalling the troops. Jake's had Baron, Van, Panatom, and Ox- Oxy had Zatman, Netroid was teaming with like Twig and Variety. So everybody's had these leaders around them. And it feels like within your team, at least to me from the outside looking in, I don't see who like the clear leaders are going into this. And I was just wondering, like, do you know <clears throat> what you expect that to be like going into games? Like who you expect to be lead shot callers, who you expect to be sort of organizing the team for scrims and things like that? Is that something you put down to the coach or, or yeah, just where do you see that? Is that your role? I don't know. Um, yeah, so that was actually the like main concern we had in general was um, I think like Jake had some communication problems on like, you know, bolts. Like I team with him, so I, I, I know a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I, you know, I haven't teamed with him since, you know, 2020, so I'm not sure if it improved, but um, uh, from, from what I hear, it has not improved, but I think we're going to focus on improving that. Like Jake, you know, we talked to Jake, um, like just me and like you know, our friends and stuff, and we're like, Jake, like, you know, you got to like, uh, like, do you want to like change? Do you want to like actually like try and communicate a lot and like you know like he, he's, he's actually down to like actually try his best to communicate and um just you know uh just so to be more talkative mm-hmm. um and um that was our like main concern was that we have like you know five mechanical like pretty good players um you know who's gonna be like the shot caller who's gonna be like the leader um uh and, and we discussed it a bit like penny tom has like decent columns you know he's talk, he talks about like uh, who he wants to gang, um, but it's like we have to feed him information so he can make uh, you know adequate decisions um, mm-hmm. throughout the game. Um, but you know, that's different than someone who's like making like like play calls. You know, he can like say like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna like I'm gonna like clear back camps or clear spread buff back, and then run straight to to, to soul lane gank, and then you know and then we can do pyro or something. You know, like, that could be a call, but you know you, you need someone to like call objectives. You know, call like which lane you're going on, like make plans and stuff like that like throughout the entire game yeah um so like Dan- daniel talked about like maybe he could do it um because he was with scream and scream is a pretty like uh hands-on he like stream like wants control of the team you know he wants like to play the game his way mm-hmm. um and so you know daniel thinks that you know daniel might try and um you know step up to the plate and uh you know try and make some calls um and yeah, I was I was considering like my, myself. I, I feel like I could I could I feel like I could make some pretty good calls. Um, I think I've like learned a lot from like Aurora, especially over the over the, over the years. You know, I've, I've learned a lot um, from previous teams. Um, but you know, like sometimes just you know, if 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 I'm like fresh, you know, if I wake up and like you know exercise, get coffee, stuff like that, and like I'm actually like fully attentive and I'm like hyped up, then I, I feel like I can make calls. Like I I made some of my calls before, but it's like you know. Like, uh, if, if if I'm not like fully fresh, and it's hard, it's hard for me to really make those types of calls. So, uh, I think I, I could try. I'm not sure if I'm like naturally good at it, but mm-hmm. um, you know, it, it's something we'll probably <clears throat> you know experiment with and like figure out because that's, that's like our number one concern. Like our number one priority is to figure out like like the leader and like who makes calls. But I mean, I'm, I'm confident it'll work out because you know I think uh, as long as we're adaptable, I think that's you know what it takes to be the best. So we just gotta figure out what you know, what to do at the right time. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's already top of your mind, I guess. So it'll be something you're focusing on as you, as you go into yep. things, uh, yep. scrims and stuff like that, I guess it'll be a big focus. Um, 
But yeah, one thing which I guess you don't have to focus on is that mechanical ability. And one other thing that I kind of noted about your team is is the flexibility. <laughs> I feel like you're um you're a team where people can can kind of fill many roles. You can do different things. You can mix things up. Is that like something that you really want to play into this year? Is that something that you feel like as sort of it's crazy to say this because you've been around for a while, but the young blood of the league, it feels like you're sort of the youngest of the, the top six in the league. Um, is that something that you guys want to play into and that, that sort of makes your team stand apart from others? Yeah, I think that could be a, you, the reason why we even like win Worlds, honestly, or like why we, you know, are like can be a top team is through our, like our flexibility and mm -hmm. mechanical skill, obviously. But um, like Daniel and I are very flexible. Like I think, um, you know, I think Soul Laners in general, like, most of them are pretty flexible like most of them can like off roll decently but i i feel like i'm like one of the best off rollers so i feel like uh even though i feel on stream a lot but, but like <laughs> if actually, you know like but i feel like you know like i have like a pretty like wide dot pool like whereas like it's like someone like haddix for example <coughs> you, you like if like if someone else gets solely and that guy's you know the guy's picking hachi man you know like mm. um hachi man adc you know and it's like if you just think hachi man it's, it's raps but um <laughs> but uh you know like uh i i feel like um a lot of like other solar are like really really good at like like the staple gods like the, which is like really good obviously it's like something you want but it's like they're really good at like like a, like a, a certain like pool of gods which is like, pretty important but i feel like i'm i'm like like decently good at like a lot of gods um and so you know if if daniel or, or penny tom or even like like jake i think jake has like you know some mod picks in in, in store like mm -hmm. uh the jake magic or whatever calls it um <laughs> i think uh i think uh if there's ever a time where like someone has a bad matchup, like I'm always happily taking pretty much any pick, whatever. Um, uh, or like you know, we could talk about flexing. Like maybe I'll be like, all right, I'll pick Uller. If someone if they pick a counter pick, you can take it, Daniel or Nitro can take it. Or like I don't know if like <clears throat> say like uh, Pantheon picks like I don't know Fenrir or like Susana or like Osiris or something, you know, um, and they pick a counter jungler or like they pick a god in some lane that's I'm really good into with those gods and mm -hmm. they, he can give it to me. And then kind of pick the mid, you know, stuff like that. So, um, uh, I think that I actually is like a really big bonus to the team, and I think that's uh, definitely something we'll, we'll try and take advantage of and uh, see where it can take us. Yeah, I agree. I think it definitely gives you like a big leg up in your your top three drafts when you can flex things and end up still, you know, threatening the Daji or threatening I don't know something out of solo like a, a really great sure. Odin Odin game or something. You know, I, I think it's great. Um, 100%. How, you kind of ruined one of my bonus questions. One of my bonus questions was, if you grab Uller, <laughs> like right now, off the rip, your first pick in Uller, <coughs> you've got it, you've uh -huh. got to decide who it's going to straight away. Is it going to you? Is it going to peg on Daniel? Or is it going to Nat? Who's taking it right now? Um, I'm going to say me. I lose my best god. Like, I actually screamed with it on Titans, like, a lot. Like, mm -hmm. pretty much every day I played it before Worlds. And then put it at play-ins, and we will lost. But like, I feel like I did okay. But um, uh, like, we, we we had a certain game plan with Uller, and we didn't really do our game plan at all. And so that's, that's why we, that's why we lost the game. Mm -hmm. And so I just didn't play off that because I'm like I got like scared. So uh, I was a pussy in that regard. But um, <laughs> uh, I think I, I'd want to play it. But like, I mean, you know, like of course if Daniel and Nitro like really want it, or like if, if they want it, you know, I'll happily give it to them because you know there's actually a lot of gods that counter Uller kind of in solo lane. So it's like. Um, I'm always playing up. Like if I if I pick Uller and I do well, it's always because I'm just like like Uller's reliant on like hitting your axes or hitting your abilities. If you don't hit your abilities, you're not gonna win anything. But like if you're in like the worst matchup possible, if you still hit your stuff, you'll probably win. But um, so I don't know. I I prefer to take it, but if Daniel like wants it, he can have it. So. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, he is one of those where it's like, if you're on, you're on. If you're on, you're winning against anybody. Uh, 100%. Which is sick. And uh, yeah, I did have one other bonus question. So at least we have this one as a spare because sure. you answered the other one early. Um, which solo laner in the league that's in so far <coughs> uh, do you want to solo the most? Like, which one do you want to get a leg up on, take down, batter them into the ground, you know? Make them, yeah, make them cry. I'd probably say Harry, honestly. He sold me at Worlds and I, just, <laughs> I need to get my revenge. I need to get my revenge. Hopefully, I'm, hopefully I meet him in the finals and I get my revenge, so um that's harry awesome cool well i'm super excited for this team i think the the flexibility and the mechanical skill is is such such great stuff on this team and i'm excited to see how you guys do and how you grow over the year um I, uh, yeah for cool. sure and also uh one, one thing is also it's kind of funny because like we have like five grudge matches so like 
it's like me with like you know the ferryman like we weren't all necessarily like kicked but you know we're kind of like you know like like the leftover squad so like mm-hmm. we have like a ton of grudge, ma- grudge matches like penny tom and leviathans you know like uh daniel and like the dragons or whatever i guess they kind of split but yeah um you know it's, it's kind of funny we have like all these little grudge matches so like every game's gonna be like oh it's a, it's a grudge match <laughs> you get that narrative it's gonna be fun yeah i'll, I'll play it's, it it'll out. be fun you know what yeah, I'm no, it'll, it'll be fun <laughs> yeah no, it'll be it'll be fun it, like you know regardless of what happens it'll, it'll be fun so awesome yeah i'm super excited to watch you guys uh but yeah that's it for me any final shout outs or anything you want to give anything you want to tell the fans before we let you go yeah just want to say a uh, shout out for all the support um over the the past year or so it was, it's been a great year and um i, I appreciate all, all the kind words and like our announcement tweets and all that saying you know like they're gonna be beasts you know i think just uh you know just get, you know give us some faith and some time and i think we'll, we'll make it work uh, we're all grinders and i think we'll be on top for this year so i appreciate the support guys awesome yeah and i appreciate the support too of all of you slamming the like button right now i don't know i can't do you i'm so bad at youtube anyway (laughs) thanks for watching everybody love you see you later bye